Now you know I like to keep my tutorials right quick to the point. So we got a timer here. Let's go ahead and start it for five minutes. I'm going to go over here to Google. I'm going to grab this image right here and I'm going to drag this over to Photoshop. Something I just found right outside of, uh, right inside of Google. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to double click the layer here. We're going to hit OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to transform it first to a smart object. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command T for the free transform mode right over here. Right click inside there and we're going to say flip it. I like to work this way. We're going to hit enter and now what we're going to do is we're going to hit command J to create a new layer. So we have exactly the same duplicate layer right here. So um, you can see the image is the same um, on both layers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to just select our quick selection tool. Let's go ahead and zoom in and what we're going to do is we're just going to select the chrome within the tire right there. Really simple. It could be really sloppy. It doesn't have to be all that neat. Okay. Um, but you can hold your option key and you can, you know, uh, unselect some of the things that you possibly didn't want to select or whatever the case may be. So now what we're going to do is now we have a selection made. We're going to go up to here to our filter. We're going to go to blur and we're going to go to motion blur. So inside the motion blur, we click it there. The distance is at 12, and you can bring it up or down to whatever your preference is to show how much blur that you like as far as a, um, any type of blur. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then also keep in mind that you can come over here to the something I have to find because I'm not really familiar with exactly where it's at. It's going to be over here under the... And I might show it in another tutorial, but I do believe it's under the, um, I can't remember. Anywho, there is, um, a, um, mm, it's going to drive me crazy not knowing, uh, radio blur. There it is right there, the radio blur. And you hit the spin there and you can turn the amount up and down as far as the spin and it'll give you a little preview there and we can go over here to about 33 or so and apply that that's way too much so let's go back over here to filter once again I just hit command Z to get out of there and let's go back over here to radio blur and we got the spin selected and let's bring it down to about a 10 hit OK that's too much as well command Z it's always about trial and error radio blur and we're just going to bring this down to about a, th a five alright that's perfect so what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom back out and we're going to do is hit our V key which is I like to consider that safe key see we have a minute 56 left in this tutorial so you can see this is not hard I'm just going to go ahead and grab this layer right here I'm going to take this layer right here and I'm going to do my best to put it right over top of the um, will very simple very easy Cl select your bend blending layers here go to lighten because remember dark hide and white to reveal I nailed it right there on the first try but you can also go in here convert it to a smart object which I love to do hit command T we can resize this right here to make it really fit around that wheel there okay go ahead hit enter and see we're missing some of the tail lights there so we can kind of bring the layer down just a little bit the color of it um, lighten it up as far as the um, opacity there about 66 percent and looks really good really simple so make sure you download this vehicle that I got from um, Google if you decide you want to use this vehicle or you can grab your own vehicle and you can also grab your um, you know the smoke here that I'm going to provide for a download as well. Um, very simple, very easy to make this effect right here to give that vehicle all kind of motion. As you see, if we turn off the layers here, it looks pretty good, but it has no motion to it. So we added the motion to the tires. We added the smoke there. That bad boy looked like he's about to take off. And you can do the exact same thing to the front wheel if you decide to by just coming over here, um, creating a new, um, you know, um, duplicate layer and doing the exact same through the front wheel to give that smoke and that front wheel that effect right over in there as well so you know for the sake of this video to make it
quick simple and right to the point I'm gonna just leave it right there and um, I love to see my timer expire I should have said this for four minutes but five minutes was just enough so time's up thank you for your time and I will see you in the next tutorial alrighty bye bye